الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام رسول اللہ والا علی وصاب اجمعین اما آباد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ما کان محمد ابا عہد مرجا لکم ولاخ رسول اللہ و خاتم النبین و کان اللہ بکل شین علیمہ رب شہلی صدری و یسلی عمری و حل العقد تمل ثانی یف کہ کولی مائی ریسپیکٹ ایلڈرس اینڈ مائی ڈیبلز اینڈ سسٹرس آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود اسلامک گریٹنگز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. It's a pleasure for me to be once again back the second time for the third convention, reviving the Islamic spirit. And the theme of this session is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the seal of the prophets. And in this session, I'm going to speak on the topic Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned in the various major world religious scriptures the major world religions can be broadly divided into Semitic religions and non-Semitic religions or Abrahamic faith and non-Abrahamic faith In the Semitic religions, we have Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The non-Semitic religions can be further divided into Aryan and non-Aryan faiths. In the Aryan religions, we have the Vedic religion, also known as Hinduism. And the non-Vedic religions, we have Buddhism, Rastanism, Parsism, etc. Due to shortage of time, we will not be able to speak in detail about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in all the various major world religions. A person can give a talk for a few hours about the mention of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in each religion. Inshallah, I'll try my level best to speak the salient features of some of the major world religions. First, we'll discuss Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Semitic religions or the Abrahamic faiths. The glorious Quran says that the word Islam is derived from the Arabic word Salam, which means peace. It's also derived from the word Salm, which means to submit your will to Almighty God. Islam in short means peace acquired by submitting your will to Almighty God, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And anyone who submits his will to Almighty God is called as a Muslim. Many people have a misconception that Islam is a new religion which came into existence 1400 years back. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the founder of this religion. In fact, Islam is there since time immemorial, since man set foot on this earth. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of this religion, but he is the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the seal of the prophets. He is the last and final messenger sent by Almighty God on the face of this earth. The glorious Quran says, in Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 24. Wa min illa khalafiyah nazir. There is not a nation or a tribe to whom we have not sent a warner. The Quran says in Surah Rod, chapter number 13, verse number 7. Wa li khulli qawmin had. And to every people have we sent a guide. By name, 25 messengers have been mentioned in the glorious Quran. For example, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the glorious Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 164, and Surah Ghafir, chapter number 40, 
verse number 78, we narrate to you the stories of some of the messengers, of the others we don't. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, there were about 124,000 messengers sent on the face of the earth. But by name, only 25 are mentioned in the glorious Quran. But all the messengers that came before the last and final messenger, they were only sent for their people. And the message which they brought was supposed to be followed only for, the, for a particular time period. For example, the Quran says in Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 49, that Jesus, peace be upon him, was sent as a messenger to the Bani Israel, to the children of Israel. He was only sent as a messenger to the Jews. And the same message is given in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he tells his apostles that go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The Gentiles are the non-Jews. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, go ye not into the way of the Gentiles. Enter ye not into the city of the Samaritans, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus, peace be upon him, repeats the message in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 15. Verse number 24 where he says that I have not been sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So all the messengers that came before the last and final messenger, they were sent only for their people and the message which they brought was supposed to be followed in totality only for a time period. But the glorious Quran says, and I started my talk by quoting a verse from the Quran from Surah Azab, chapter number 33. Verse number 40, where it says, Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim mirjalikum, wala khi Rasulullah, wa khatam al nabiyin, wa kana Allahu bi kulli shayn alima. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the father of any of you men, but he is a messenger of Allah, and he is the seal of the prophets. Allah is all knowing, full of knowledge. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger. He was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. The glorious Quran says in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107. We have sent thee not but as a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humankind. The Quran repeats the message in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34. Verse number 28. Bashiro wa Naziro. We have sent thee not but as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin. But most of the human beings yet do not know. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger, he was the seal of the prophets. He was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs. He was sent for the whole of humankind and because he was the seal of prophets that's the reason if you read the scriptures of the major world religions he is mentioned he is prophesized in the scriptures of all the major world religions first we'll discuss the mention of prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Jewish scriptures the glorious Quran says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157. They follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, who is mentioned in the scriptures, the law and the gospels.